Hello everyone and welcome to my new Yeet Cars video. In this video we are going to be putting in the glass and fixing the wheel bearings. Let's get right into it. Now I've got a new wheel bearing because it, this back wheel has the slightest movement. Not sure if you can hear that, it's this tiny little tick 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 tick. Wheel off. Let's go. Okay, so I've got the caliper off, and that can just sit behind there, hopefully. And the disc actually just pulls off, or should just pull off. There we go. And there's our culprit. You can actually hear that. It's not meant to make that noise. Right, then the cover comes off with a screwdriver. I've loosened it already. Now I've just got that nut to take off and this whole assembly piece should come off. Before undoing this, I'm going to take the, or get a screwdriver or something underneath that piece that's been bent over and bend it back so that it can spin freely. This nut is a 32. This is probably not the right one for it, but anyway. Ended up using a impact drive just because that it was quite tight and I couldn't get it up, done done by just my strength. So now that I've got everything off it, you can really feel the wiggling. I've got this tool on here, which actually works. So, I can turn this, and it slowly <laughs> drops the tool, pulls the uh, piece out, which is actually the, probably the first time I've ever seen this work, it usually isn't strong enough. Okay, old one is off, now we can start putting the new one on. This shows how bad the bearing was. It actually wasn't connected onto this properly. And that's what the movement was. And you can probably see here. Oh, there we go. It is disgusting grease in there. It's just let all the dirt in. It's been grinding it up. Now, this is the new bearing. And it is a lot better looking than that one. Look at that. Comparison. Finally got the other bearing piece off. I actually had to crack it to get it to come off because there was no other way to actually get it loose enough. It was that tight in there. But anyway, we can go on with the new one. Boy, that looks good. Now it's the same to the other side. This is what a proper one is supposed to look like. It comes off straight away, no need for the pulling device. And the shaft is beautiful. Okay, so that one's all back together. And this one's all back together. So now we can put the wheels on and it's all finished. Window edges are all taped up and ready for the windows to go in, which is really, really cool. It's so close. Radio, it is in. That looks neat. With the rubber that fits up with the other rubbers. The back window. Nice. First on, the mirror. And it's in. Now I've got to put these 
pieces in. And I think that it sits on top of the seal. Like that. It just has screws. Alright, it is all screwed in. That is looking pretty nice. Wipers are sitting in place. They are all on. It looks so nice. It is so close to being finished. Literally, I've put this on. All we have to do is take the interior panels that are like that run along here out. There's that bit out. There's, there's that bit off. And. All that needs is, there we go, slotted in there. Now the same for the other side. Okay, so this plug, and it should just go in, Oop. where is it? Oh, it's at the top, this one. They use the same plug for that side as well as the other side. It is done now. It is pretty much completed. This is fully back to original. Now I have got my dad to paint these rims because that the old paint, the clear coat had come off this aluminium piece and the problem with that is that it's starting to do the corrosion, uh, have the corrosion on there so got him to paint it with some paint he had left over from another spray painting job and it actually looks so much better. Okay, so the price of the car was 1000 and sold the blue car, that was 500, oh, 550 and so that equals 450 and then for all of the parts we worked out that it made the total for the car 1,350 I can't believe it's actually done it's unbelievable, it, it, it's just amazing after all of those many days it's finally done thanks so much for watching hit the like button and the subscribe button and see me in my other videos thanks, see ya an edit I actually put the wipers on the wrong way so any person who knows these cars very well would know that I put them on the wrong way <laughs>